Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. Here we are. Uh, sorry, I forgot to put the poll up last time. My brain is all confuddled. I'm full of head cold and all sorts of nasty lurgy at the moment. So, um, yeah, I apologise for that. This may be an incoherent ramble, more so than usual. So just be prepared. Anyway, the poll was going to be, should we continue as we are or skip on to the Spitfire? Uh, a lot of people said, let's con continue as we are. Let's see the development of Tiger Moth. Lovely. And... Something exciting just came up. While practicing navigation over the sea, we've run into a lone German fighter. Probably a scout. Luckily, our hurricanes chased him off, but he managed to hit us a few times. We've got to patch some bullet holes. So this is some key um, repair methods that we need to learn. So that's, and we need to refill the aircraft. So job 2480. Patching some bullet holes. Oh yeah, look at these. Right, uh, bent bullet hole bent outwards. So we just cut that out, I guess, and then we put a, a patch of um, stuff on it. Anything under no? Oh, okay, it's just that one, is it? Anything? Any more bullet holes? Yes, we've got some bullet holes on this wing as well. Yeah, look at that. So let's uh, cut that out. This is just fabric, so um, nice. There are the bullet holes repaired. Looks as good as new. Uh, also, as well as feeling not particularly bright today, um, I've also got a little puppy sitting down by my feet. So if there's loads of clatters and bangs, you know he's starting to chew through cables or something stupid. And I'm shouting at him. Um, but fingers crossed he's uh, settling down with his little chew toy. So um, things should be okay. Let's plop that in there. Ah, so we now know, filling or repairing bullet holes is pretty straightforward. So that's pretty sweet. Let's tank her up. Nice. Up we go. Out you come. All the jungle drums are pop, bobbing and banging. Um, I can't put that back. There we go. Off you go, mysterious Pope pinup lady. Where's that honk from? Honk honk. Sounds like some geese going over. Uh, right, pop that back on. And that is job done. Nice. Oh, no, I've fallen off the ladder. There we go. We were okay, though. Pop that over there. Bish, bash, bosh. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. Fantastic. Good stuff. Right, so bullet hatch. Bullet hatch pulls? No, all patched up for the bullet holes. Um, we feel the aircraft. Perfect job what they come to expect from us these days. Up to 599 in the old merit score. Promotion on its way. Okay. Job 2496. Still on this high off. A student crashed the plane. Oh no, on his first solo. The new... A new aircraft has just arrived, but it's spent a lot of time just standing aside, so it's a really bad shape. Make sure that everything works as it should before you send it out to the paint shop. Okay, so inspect the whole vehicle, refill the oil, refill the aircraft. Nice. So we've got a new Tiger Moth. Oh, that one we lovingly looked after for so long has been lost. So this is this was this one's been dragged out of storage. Yeah, you can see the the cowling paint that all was all corroded and all worn off. And, doing some tight formations. Right, so we're just doing an inspection today. So let's get the undercarriage inspected first of all. That's not too bad. The wheel cap's okay. Ooh, that needs to be replaced. We'll do the full inspection, then we'll come back and replace stuff, I think. Ooh, that wheel's gone. Okay, so a bit of work on the undercarriage. Ooh, most definitely. Let's check the, um, the skid plate at the back. Uh, yep, there we go. That's fine, good. Let's just, can we uh, stand up? Stand up? There we go, lovey. Check the old cockpits. The old glass, they're okay. You can see through them. They're not gonna, there's nothing else we can check in the cockpit, is there? Like the controls or the switches or map compass. Nope. Good, right. Um, can we check, like. No, you can't check, like, uh, everything works. Uh, let's get the cowl off then and have a look under here oh god 
Uh, let's get it off fully. Let's get the other side off fully as well. And we'll have a good look. Where's the other bolt? There it is. The sun's shining a little bit bright this morning. All right. Okay, so let's check the oil filter. That's fine. The left magneto is fine. Pressure filter is fine. Timing gears is fine. Ignition wires, fine. Left engine cover, that's fine. Top cover of the engine, fine. Now we'll probably have to check the um, sparks in a minute. So, fuel filter, damaged. Magneto is fine. Um, these ignition wires are okay. That's okay. Intake is okay. Carburetor is okay. We'll do the cylinder barrel. I'm hoping they're not going to be nasty and have like a a piston ring a, a damaged, and that's what the damage is going to be. I hope it's just going to be a quick inspection. Get all this done. Yeah, that. Yeah, this is all looking pretty good so far. As in, you know, the real tricky bits, the time-consuming bits look okay. I know we can't. We're not looking inside, but how's the old prop? That looks looking okay. The old prop spinner. That's looking fine. Good. Right. So um, ignition wires are fine. Let's get this fuel pump off first of all. We know we need to get that off. Uh, we'll take the ignition cap uh, ignition wires off because I want to check the spark plugs. Let's check these. Okay. 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 Brill. Pop that back on then. Woo! <laughs> We need some quick, slick um, move maneuvers under the uh, under the front of the aircraft. Right. So what else? Let's let's get the. Do we have to take the? Probably have to take the front off for that, don't we? To get that out. Yeah. Unless we can. No, it's we can't. It's not going to allow us to put our hand in there and try it. Uh, so we'll just do this quick inspection. That's looking a little bit tasty. Well, how's this actually? That's okay. That's okay. Fine, 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 good. Let's get those off. Oh, I can't believe. I guess this is preparing us for all that hard work we did on the um, the old Tiger Moth, and it, you get lost. This is this is this is the thing. If you don't look after the, like the Spitfire or the Mosquito properly, we will lose that, and worst of all, we'll also lose the pilot, which is. Uh, which is sad. We don't want to be that mechanic looking after the, you know. <laughs> we don't want to have some jinx on us and everyone thinks, oh, you don't want him as your mechanic, you'll never make it home type thing. Why does that need to come off to get that out? Okay, fine. We'll get it off anyway. As the old oil tank is fine. <laughs> the cap, anyway. Right. Can we not get those out? Why are they not coming out? There we go. I need to get myself out of the way, perhaps. Um, so the the actual ignition wires were looking okay. So if we disconnect it, check the sparks. I'd say these might be absolutely fine, but it's worth double checking as we're here. Don't want to put it all together and have another spark. They're fine. Okay. So I'm hoping everything inside should be just fine. Fingers crossed. Right, so let's quickly pop these back on. Raw Merlins. Oh, Fish bash bosh. We need to sort of start looking at the. Um... Hang on, I thought we need to put that one in first. Uh, we need to start looking at the uh, the undercarriage then. And I think that might be it. Top up the oil, top up the. Um the fuel and we should be golden yeah. beautiful yeah 
if you, if you can hear a squeaky noise, that's obviously the puppy playing with a squeaky toy. It's a squeaky pheasant. Um, so yeah, he's chewing on it. So yeah, sorry if you can hear that noise. I'll try and get it out in the old sound um, thing. I'll try and, uh, yeah, clean up the sound, but that's okay. Um, you know, they often had dogs on air bases, didn't they? Mascots and stuff for the pilots and uh, all sorts. There we go, pop that down. Let's come over this side. Really heavy legged all of a sudden, I don't know why. Really slow movement, but... Oh, hang on, we got to put the fuel filter in before we close that. Of course we do. Let's see if we can repair that. This is me happily, merrily going on, thinking we've done everything. We can repair it, fantastic. Right. Okay, the dog's just going slightly mental next to me. Uh, it's slight, slightly distracting. I'm wor rather worried that he might actually just switch the computer off because he just bashed his head against it. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I just put putting a book in front of it so he doesn't accidentally switch it off. Right, where's the um Here we go. Nice. And where's the other one? Oh, there. There. Oh, this is a challenging one. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. Happy days. Let's get the fuel filter in there. A brand spanky new one. Well, fully refurbished one. Happy days, get that closed down. Good, right, so we need the jacks now to uh, I don't suppose, do we need the jack? Oh, we'll do the jack, obviously this is if we're going to do the rear skid, we're not going to do the rear skid, we're just going to lift it up to the front undercarriage, but I'm not sure if I need to do that anyway, but we will do it as for completion. Right, let's get these off. Jobs are, jobs are good, look at that. Can't wait to see you come back from the paint shop. Right, so this was... Yeah, that was knackered, wasn't it? So we'll get this off. Okay, we'll come on the other side. How was it? Was, the wheel was okay, but that was knackered, okay. I was in the, <laughs> it's in the, still in the um, observation mode. This dog goes absolutely mental. He chooses his moments perfectly, you know. I'm sure animals have got an inbuilt sensor to know when they're least, being at least convenient time for them to act like a fool. But then that's what he's doing, but bless him. Right, are they repairable? I wouldn't have thought so. No, they're not. Okay, so let's get a couple. Stand up. There we go. Let's get a couple of spare bits. So we need a wheel. That, that, that. There we go. Lovely. And let's construct this back together. Fish, bash, and bosh. Same on that one. There we go. And let me just when we when we put these together, let's just check to see if the good the good wheel went on this side or if it randomizes it and we could potentially put the good wheel on this side. Oh, see that's the that's the average wheel. Or is this the bad wheel on this side? I can't remember. I'll I'll put it down to if not feeling very well. That don't look a particularly brand new wheel, does it? Maybe we just got a spare or a pair from the crash site, or you know, from the. Uh... Oh, that, oh, they're both fine wheels. Okay, so we didn't get a brand new wheel at all. Right. Let's bring it down. Nice. The jack. I do like the jack. I like the fact that it's you know slightly different. You've got to wind it with your mouse. I can't put it down, mice. There we go. 
And let's get that out of the way. Put that down there, good. That's all looking good. How's the does it think the repair's done? Inspect the whole aircraft. Oh, it means the whole aircraft, doesn't it? It wants me to take Oh for crap. Okay, we gotta take it literally. Let me um do this. I'll get you back so you don't have to sit here and watch me do the whole thing again. Okay, welcome back. As you can see, the um, upgraded uh, unscrewing skill we got last time is uh, very beneficial, especially when you're doing this. Then we'll come out super quick. Yeah, it adds speed it up. I think that's definitely one we'll unlock again, the next one up. Right, let's get this inspected in here then. Piston is fine. Ah, so you should never try and just try and do half a job. Do it properly. I'm hoping that um, when we do this, it may go jungle drums and say okay. Get these done. Of course, we've got to better check the um, the valves and the the bits down here. So we better get this off and have a look in here. Oh, that's damaged. There we go. Okay, push rods are okay. The valves are just fine. Um, get that off. Camera's a bit dark at the moment, isn't it? Let's get this out. Right, let's... um. Skip onto this uh, camera. There we go. Check on this one. That all looking okay so far. Push rod okay. Push rod okay. Uh, hang on, there we go. That's fine. That valve is fine. Good. All good in here so far. Uh, I'm thinking we might need to pull these out just to uh, check the head gasket and the and the debris and the uh, piston rings because the one thing we don't want to do I'd rather spend five minutes and do that rather than I have to spend 50 minutes and backtracking should have done that from the off but I thought well, oh, let's try and zip through this five minute job okay so we'll take these off anyway. I've got to take that side bit off. Right, first of all, let's get... Um, is that thing repairable? No, the rocker mechanism. So let's just get that replaced, full stop. Uh, and see if... The, Why have we got a bit of the side cowl? That's not quite what I want, but um, I want to replace this and see if that does the old jungle drums. If that does, we know we're good. If not, then we continue with our investigation. No, but that's not necessarily actually thinking about it. Maybe we'll only do that one the whole... No. It should do it when we've completed it. So let's get the... Oh, we need to get this side bit off, don't we? We'll do the full inspection as it requests. So that's everything. Oh, I've got to take the ignition wires off. Of course we do. Can we drop that without taking the spark plugs out? I doubt it. Oh, we can. Superb. Good, right. Let's have a little looksy here then. That looks fine. 
Okay, let's put that back together. All the good stuff. Get those two sparks out. Spark on, right, good. Right, let's uh, let's rebuild this one then. We know this one's okay. Lovely. Build that one up. That one's good. Good, right. Next one. Oh, camera! What? There we go. Got it. Got jammed on something. Ah, uh, yeah. This. Do you know what? All these mechanic games, the car mechanic simulators, all them. They always have slight issues with the camera. Sometimes it's. It's. I guess it's just how you use the camera. Sometimes it feels a little bit like it's working against you, but um, it's fine. Let's get the old Sparky out. off. Quick inspect. There you go. Damage head gasket. Oh crap. There. Gotcha. Um Take the old piston rings. Good, right, let's get that one changed over here and get it rebuilt. Seem very low for us all of a sudden. Head gasket, please. Lovely, oops. Went straight to the fuel truck for some bizarre reason. Right, let's get this rebuilt. This is going to be fun. Uh, head gasket. Oh, ca oh, this bloody camera. There we go. Build it all back on. Lovely jubbly. Good stuff. Yeah, so a lot of our things just end up stripping the entire engine these days. Even if they say, repair the windscreen. Okay, we'll strip the engine. No worries. We'll do that. That just seems to be our mantra at the moment. Connected on to the old ignition wires. That one's not connected here. We didn't do that one. That's okay. Well, all good. Right. Let's have a look here. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Camera! Please! <laughs> Play the game! I've got a dog misbehaving. I've got a camera misbehaving. I'm not feeling particularly great. And, oh. Always happens, doesn't it? There we go. Life is good and full of challenges. That's what makes it interesting. Wonderful. Right, that one done. Let's um, let's just take the, the sparkies out of these. No. Oh God. There we go. Not going. There we go. The camera chooses what he thinks I want to look at, and half the time it's not what I want to look at, or what I'm clicking on. All right, let's spin around under here. Ooh Disconnect that. Disconnect that. That one doesn't come out on its own. Ah, woo! This camera! Quit it! Go, blimey. Thank goodness I can control my eyes better than I can control this camera, otherwise my life would be a challenge. 
That's for damn sure. Right. Let's disconnect from that. Let's go underneath. Let's have a look here. Right. Let's uh, strip this off then. Nice. So, how many of you have purchased this game then? What do you think? Thoughts, comments? Yeah, obviously, it's still in development, so um, it, it, it hopefully will only improve with age, which is fantastic. Um, let's check the head gasket. That's good. That's all fine. Let's get that off. Let's count the old piston rings. Where can I see them? Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Can angle the dangle quite okay there we go I should be the Sun is really coming off at a bit of a, a bit of a bad angle here and for some reason I don't know because we searched it or we, we've investigated it it's gone gold as in it's fine okay they're all fine it seems to reflect the light a little bit more, which is a bit bizarre, considering it's only an indication, it's not actually what should be going on, but then it's okay, it's all good. Yeah, I need to start reading up on the um, the dev forums, see what they're doing in terms of, I wonder if they're just bug fixing it, I haven't, as I say, I haven't read it, it'd be interesting to see where they foresee the um, development of this game going, because, you know, with all these mechanic simulations, there's always DLCs, i.e. They'll, they'll add a... I don't know, a pack, so for the car mechanic simulator it was always, you know, a particular manufacturer pack would be in added. And stuff like that if there's, you know, if, if the game takes off, which is fair enough, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I'm I'm hoping there may be, you know, and the good thing about the DLCs, you'll be saying, oh, a DLC. But yeah, but usually they are usually only a couple of pounds, uh, you know, two or three pounds and you get, you know, a, a wedge of content which is normally pretty good. So if we could get, I don't know, a Luftwaffe pack for uh, Luftwaffe fighters for the um, you know, the European thing for a couple of quid. Happy with that. Obviously with missions along the way as well. How's the head gasket there? That's absolutely fine. Let's get that off. Can I take that off? Yep, let's count these piston rings or check them out. Um, yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. Or you know, then we can do maybe a Pacific fighter there we go. And that's the last bad boy, this piston ring here. Um, oh, come out of zoom. Yeah, so and what I'd also like to see is let's move on to bombers. I would love to work on bombers. You've got four engines to work with. I mean, what's not like not to like, eh? Or oh, obviously, you can have two engine bombers as well. But, but um, yeah, I just think there's um, some more... I don't know if people just get fed up after having to do uh, strip four engines. But... Um, I wouldn't. I'd enjoy that, I think. Right. Let's get this uh, piston ring installed. That was it. That was it. All done now, people. All done. We are good to reassemble. Head gasket on. This plane will fly again, which is always good. See, it's a lot quicker now when we've upgraded, isn't it? It's fantastic. Right, let's get this quickly screwed on. Get the cover and the bracket on. Brill. Uh, let's get the plugs in. Do it symmetrically so I can. It's easier for my sickness induced brain to uh, comprehend what's going on. Let's put the engine cover on. Put the lower bearing on. Yeah, it's super quick these days. It's fantastic, isn't it? Love it! Um. 
Have missed anything? No. Oh yes. I'll tell you what we do. Let's put the, uh, the top engine cover on. So this should be a lot speedier now. It still takes a bit of time, but it's not. You now need to have one of those Insta heat kettles to make a cup of tea. Because look at it go. That's brilliant, isn't it? Two at a time. Woohoo! So yeah, we can really speed this process up. Just to start putting the old nuts on. Oh yes, yeah. see that's oh, it's, it's a godsend. That really is. That's brill. Coming over this side. There we go. Right, let's get the old prop on. Or oh, let's get this bit on first. And we'll get the front fairing on. Good. Oh, it's coming, all coming together nicely now. Good. So we now have, hopefully, well, it should be a serviceable aircraft for our training purposes. And hopefully we don't get any more students um, crashing on their first solo flight. Hopefully they were okay. And it was just uh, the aircraft that was written off. We haven't lost a brave potential pilot. Obviously it did happen quite often. Let's get you in. Fish bash. Lovely. And coming over here. Champion, do we need to? Uh, yeah, we will. The fact that the fuel tanks here suggests that the yeah we will need to refuel it and probably oil. Did it say oil? I think it said oil, didn't it? Hop that in there. This is really dry. Well, you. I would imagine they drain the tanks before they store them, don't they? So that kind of makes sense. Pop that up there. You can drive off. And let's get the oil bags over. Can I get to the oil? No, I need to just... Need to unhook this, don't I? I thought I might be able to get to the oil without that, but uh, there we go. Clicking away, nothing's happening. Okay, uh, where's the old hose? There we go. Pop you on there. It's quite a loose fit, isn't it? But right. Ah, we can control the. Ah, oh, cause oh, okay, so we can control the speed at which it comes in by. There we go. That's perfect. Oh yeah, that's a lot of night. That's I don't know if they've uh, tweaked that or that's just a little bit easier to control or I just got used to it. But that, that feels a lot better. I know they were looking to do some improvements to that, so if they have, that's great. All right, let's pop you over there. Get you down. Oh no, sorry. Uh, hello. Oh, thank you. Oil tank cap. That's what I was missing. Can quite figure out. Brain's not working, as I said. Right, I think she is good to go. Sign that one off. Inspect the whole aircraft. Okay, when they so you gotta take it literally. When they say inspect the whole aircraft, they mean the whole aircraft. Perfect job. Going up to the six. Oh, just short of the 650s. Right. Right. 
Okay, here we are. One, hopefully a quick job. Uh, I'm afraid another student has had a hard landing today. The aircraft seems okay, but I want you to replace the compression legs just in case. So replace the compression legs, refuel the aircraft. Okay. Job 2503. Good. Relatively... Oh, she's had a paint job. Look at that. She's looking beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Looks good. It looks good. Now, he did say just the compression legs, but let's just double check um, this. Tails again. Yeah, that's fine. I know we should just do what it says, but, you know, it's always nice to have a little bit of inspection. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're bad. But that's all looking good and groovy. I can't do it from here. Right, okay, let's get these off then quickly. And this will probably be our last job of the day. Nice quick one. Get these sorted off, get the wheels off, get these off. Just got this aircraft up and running from storage or whatever she is. Bloody students. Bloody students. These five boys, eh? There we go. Right. Looking beautiful. on there, lovely, head over to this side I'll leave the boy to uh, tighten all that up there we go, job done, wheel on Whoa. almost fell through the ground then, we're okay though there, lovely I'm stuck again there's supposed to be an invisible wall there which I can't quite get through Come. Oh, God, what's happening? I'm now stuck in the cockpit. There we go. <laughs> Some more interdimensional weirdness going on. Falling through the floor, now warping onto the wing. I think it's just the way the, um, the physics were when I took that thing out, standing in the wrong position. Alright, let's get her fueled up. All good for the next training session. Whoops. Right, let's get her out. Get that added. You hear the dog going mental? He's just gone outside. Uh, I think that is job done. Good. So replacement all compression compression legs, refueled the aircraft, all looking good. Final result, perfect job. Fan Tastico. 690. Woo! Great stuff. Well we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're continuing to enjoy playing Mechanic Simulator. I'll try and pump these out as much as I can. I'm trying to get two or three out a week just so we can get a good um a good flow and a good uh progression going so thanks so much for watching if you like it hit that thumbs up if you don't i'm sorry i'll try and make it more entertaining next time and uh, if you, you but if you are liking what you see then hit that subscribe button tickle the bell next to it to make sure you get all the latest video notifications into your youtube feed if if so you won't um yeah thanks so much i'll see you next time